it's so dangerous in Canada that you have to prove, you have to have proof of vaccination and a, and a photo ID just to eat at a restaurant. How do you sanitize the table? You mean you, you, you wiped it with a cloth, right? I couldn't get the Waffle House because they weren't open when I get up. But look at this. <laughs> Three eggs. I, I have to treat it like it's going to be my last meal going to PI at the danger zone. It's urban truck stop, I swear to goodness. They're, they're unbelievable. Food's unbelievable. Can, can I just pay you? That guy at the register looks like he's got COVID to me. Can I just pay you here? <laughs> I'm at the Irving truck stop, the big stop. It's one of the few places in Canada. You see, my American friends, they can actually get liquor at the gas stations, the truck stop. See, the Irving family is super powerful. Uh, you know, what's the premier going to say? No, you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, shit, I hit my nose. I hope I'm, oh no, I hope, I hope I don't get COVID. Yeah, real nice weather here in New Brunswick. And New Brunswick's not too badly hit. I, I lived here for a little while, just for to Really tell you the truth, it's one of the worst places I ever lived. But anyways, that's another story. Now on my way to Danger Zone. I'm gonna go into Moncton, that's really a tough spot. All right, we're all refueled. I got more paperwork than I did when I had jazz golf because of the government regulations. Uh, oh, you know what? I better get my extra N95 mask to put it over my mask because of, I'm going into Moncton. Oh Jesus, I hope they didn't catch me with my illegal tobacco. We can't have uh, flavored tobacco in Canada. Not a great rule we have. Hey, I'm double masked, I'm just pulling up. Uh, this is called the Confederation Bridge, but really it's more well known as Blair's Bridge. Rena's brother built it, so well, they're not him and I. I'm not sure how many other contractors. But it's a wonder of the world, not supposed to be used before here, but you know, we'll take a few chances. No trouble talking, not really feeling any symptoms, but the double mass are kind of cutting off my circulation a little bit. I've landed in PI and now I'm gonna go through, I don't know what they're gonna do for me. I don't even know if I can get in. Oh, they don't want me to come in, I won't go in. <laughs> well, hell with it, I'll just go right through it. There you go. Alright, so I went that through, let me go through lane number eight. There we go. Let's see how this works out. Engine off. There we go. How are we doing? Here you go. I'm coming from the United States. Right on. Do you need the PI pass? Uh, yeah, I will in just a sec. Are any symptoms of COVID today? No. Right on. So you're not a PEI resident? I am. Oh, you are? Perfect. Okay. And what was the purpose of travel? Trade. Nice. And do you remember when you left PEI? I do. The 17th of, uh, of uh, January. Perfect. Hey, I got a question for you. I was told I'm supposed to be double masked to come. Is that right? Uh, in here, as far as I know, it's just one mask. But for okay. you guys, for us, we have to do the Oh, I'm Canadian. Mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as I know, it's just one mask. Oh, okay. But, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. Oh, okay, but well, I wasn't sure, so I can get rid of the... Get rid of this. Uh... Yeah, you can get rid of the second one if you want to. Right, you gotta well... keep one on, kind of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me just get rid of that. Yeah, it does get a little hard on the. I ears, couldn't so... breathe, man. I, 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 you know, I couldn't breathe with that extra mask. There no, you go. Know. I get you. And, and on, I find for myself on the ears, it like pulls on the ears a yeah. lot. But that's just... they don't give you this N forty nine mask. No budget cuts. <laughs> Seriously? No, I don't know, but yeah, we don't get those. Well, they, I was in the states and they gave me a bunch of them. You want one? Oh my god, no, I'm okay. Thank Are you, you sure? Know? Okay. I appreciate that. Okay, okay. all right, cool. Uh, yeah, I do need to see a piece of ID and proof of vaccination if you got it. I got both. Now listen, I just got a PCR test uh, on, uh, that's the PCR test. Okay. And that's my proof of double vaccination, the booster. Take a look at that. You can do the QR that's, code. That's if good to go right there. That's all I need. That's all you don't need the PI pass? Uh, no, that functions the exact same. All right, cool. Yep, so and then just a piece of ID. Oh, right. Absolutely. Uh, PI. Yeah, so, so since I'm sure you're aware, but since you've been out of province for more than a day, you have to do the four day isolation here. Uh, but I, I was in the car for two days driving without any contact. Does that count for two days? I didn't know. I don't think so. Okay. so I, I wish I could tell you yes, but no. When are, they, when are they lifting their restrictions? You know what? I'm not sure, but I know I know they're talking about it. I know a lot of provinces in, in uh, Canada are talking about just lifting most of the restrictions. But uh, I'm not exactly sure when that'll be. So has, has it improved since I left, or has it gotten... Uh, the restaurants and stuff are open. I don't know if when you left they were closed, but they were They closed. were shut down. Yeah, so they're back open again now, which is nice. So okay, that's, great. That's good to go. There you get a phone. That's good. Okay, great. And you've been a big help. You're a nice guy. <laughs> Very uh, good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so if you just uh, sit tight here for a minute, so I'm going to be able to give you a test, and you can be right on your end. I'm just going to roll this up. It's getting kind of cold. Yeah, I'll roll right fine. back down. Have Thanks. Yep.
I did two days on it. Jeez, it's hard to text and follow these guys at the same time. It really is. What an inconvenience. Hey, you know, in all fairness, a PI is a great place to live. The economy's on fire. It's mostly housing. Uh, a lot of people starting to open their wallets. They bought cars. They're uh, doing home simulators for golf. They're, they're doing all sorts of crazy things, and it's up to me to figure out how I fit it in the program. It's not up to them to see how my piece of the puzzle fits into their program. People here are terrific. I feel a great sense of community. I've got some unbelievable friends. The golf courses are amazing. Uh, the culture is really unique. The, I, I mean, to explain to you how friendly these people are here is, is it, it's undoable. Kind of reminds me a lot of Boston now, I'll tell you what, you know, and, and, and you know, people can make fun of Jersey and, and New York, but I, I just love it there and hold on and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, PI is open for business. Uh, they can get, take care of you, get ill. Uh, I pick on the, the premier here because, uh, you know, I know him. I was, he was introduced to me through a friend. And I know him and... Uh, Hey, if you can't pick on your friends, what can you do? He's not really a friend, but I know him. And I guess the only thing I can say is is that, uh, and this isn't up to uh, Premier Dennis King, it, it's up to Trudeau. You know, we have to change the way we get in and out of the country. It's been too hard too long. That simple. You guys have a blessed day. It's been an amazing journey getting back home to Canada. It's all good. You know, Canada is a great country. And... Every country I visit, I love. I'm just trying to make things better wherever I live. That's all it is, just for fun. Cheers, have a great day, everybody. I'd stop and help, but I'm in isolation for four days.